hello everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new hi my name is taylor i am a second year I am a second year Bachelor of Science student studying psychology at the University of Melbourne and I also live at college here in Melbourne too and I have been doing weekly vlogs of my life here in Melbourne and this vlog actually comes with a few updates. Three pretty big things have happened in the past I guess five days so I'll give you a quick update before we get into the weekly video. The first one which is The first one, which is for sure the most exciting, is that I reached 1,000 subscribers the other day. I've been doing YouTube for almost a year now, since October last year, and I have been chipping away at it and just grinding my way through it. It has definitely been a slow process. It has taken a lot of work, and I'm so glad I stuck through it because I'm finally now at the point where my growth is starting to pick up and I have so many new subscribers and viewers. So if you are one of those 1,000, I think we're almost up to 1500 now thank you so so much it's just that extra added bit of motivation and reward almost for all of the work that i put into this but at the end of the day i just absolutely love making videos and editing the videos and posting on instagram and chatting with all of you guys so of course i wouldn't be doing it if i didn't love it but i'm so glad that you guys love watching it too and i am just so happy in other news the following night i actually had a bit of a fall and I fell over some shoes um, because I am a bit clumsy but the shoes were in my way um, <laughs> I actually sprained my ankle and I am now on crutches <laughs> so today's Monday I should have probably said that um, it's Monday week three and I did this on Friday night I've sprained my ankle once before and I've also torn a ligament in that same ankle before so it's my third time doing it and this is definitely not the worst time if that makes sense like the other two times that I've done it have been way worse I'm not in excruciating pain anymore the only I guess real bummer and issue is that my musical that I'm in if you've seen my past videos you would know that I am playing the lead role in Legally Blonde so I'm playing Elle and the musical is in three weeks time from today and the musical obviously involves a lot of dancing a lot of walking around and it's just the worst time probably not the worst time because it could be you know the day before but it means i'm missing out on a lot of rehearsals a lot of dance rehearsals which i very much need because i'm not a dancer dancing is not my strong point so i'm really hoping that i'll be fully recovered and healed in three weeks time i actually booked in um this morning to go and see a physio and i'm going to see him this afternoon so hopefully seeing the physio can kind of not speed up that process but just make sure it gets done in the best and right way and then hopefully in three weeks time i will be all healed and ready to <laughs> dance properly and do everything i don't actually know how much i'm going to be filming because obviously it's hard filming on crutches and the other thing that kind of is an update the third thing is that we are in lockdown again here in Melbourne oh, amazing timing it's all just kind of happened at once we're back in another week long lockdown it ends on Thursday as I said today is Monday but of course I'll try and make this as interesting and entertaining as possible so I thought I'd just start here with a good solid life update and I am happy because I've just ordered a burger <laughs> but yeah I will update you um later on hi everybody it is Tuesday today I actually fell a bit sick yesterday after I chatted to you I went to my physio appointment and then came home and just was really sick and I've only just kind of got myself out of bed and I'm pushing through. Quick update on the ankle situation. I am off my crutches now. I was already on one crutch by the time I went to the physio, so crutches are gone. I'm fine walking on it now. He said the healing process should take about four to six weeks. Problem is that the musical is in three weeks, so slightly pushing it with that one, to be honest. I'm gonna keep working at it and hopefully it should end up being okay. Today is a really exciting day. First of all, I got 
free packages this morning so I'm gonna do a quick haul for you and show you everything that I got and secondly this afternoon I'm going with two of my friends to look at some houses we're gonna go inspect two houses not that we're looking to move out just yet it's a while before we have to start looking at places properly but we just wanted to have a look at a couple of places and kind of suss out what we want see kind of what's around what we're looking at and then hopefully when the time comes it'll just make that whole process of trying to find the right place easier and quicker so yeah that's in about an hour but first of all let me show you so my first package which i've already opened is from glasses and i just got four tops the first one is this one that i'm wearing now um and this one's my absolute favorite because i love this color this is one of my favorite colors top number two is pretty similar bit of a different color a bit darker but same um kind of cut ish and then i got two of these tops i got one in this color this one so soft same top but in this green color so yeah that's my glasses haul very happy with those basic kind of top purchases because i tend just to wear tops and pants but I just rotate through the same two tops which are from Glassons you've definitely seen them before so I thought it was time to buy some new tops I haven't even opened this one yet this one is from Princess Polly all right it's so soft I got this it's so soft this has stains written all over it I don't know if that's gonna fit it looks very small but it's literally such a nice fabric and it matches my nails I wish we could go out I'm wearing this as soon as we go out next time the next thing that I am definitely most excited about but also the most nervous about my posters oh my god they're huge if you have seen any of my previous vlogs or my move-in vlog you know that up here behind above my bed i was planning to put some posters and i finally got around to ordering some it took me so long mainly because i'm super indecisive but i i selected some they're literally huge <laughs> Okay, so these were the ones that I decided on. I only wanted three, but I couldn't choose, so I decided to get four. They are way, way bigger than I thought that they would be. I think I decided that I was going to do these three on the wall. Uh, I might play around with it. Okay, they're not sticking super well on the wall, so I might just wait till Toby gets home to help me stick those up. And I also forgot to mention that I was just having my costume kind of fitting for the musical. And oh my god, the costumes are so, so fun. It's like girly 2000s, it's all pink, which I absolutely love, um, if you can't tell. And the clothes are just so much fun. It's been a day of trying clothes on. Um, and now I need to clean it all up, which is lots of fun. Um, I've got about 20 minutes before we're going to leave for the inspections. So I'm going to do that now. Oh my God. <laughs> BTS. Taylor White BTS. <laughs> They're not straight. Wow, that looks good. They're not straight. Oh, so you don't usually get it straight first try. Taylor White exposed. <laughs> What's up, champions? Is this how you vlog? Do you just like set it up like this? Mm -hmm. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> so we were, we just went out to, out to, um, we we're gonna go look at a house or two, um, but then Taylor realized that we're actually in lockdown and <laughs> that's <not>. actually illegal. <laughs> you know, like that it's supposed to do that, it's supposed to stay in your house. Which, you know, a common common man like myself would obviously have realized that, but gone, oh well, Taylor knows best. And so we didn't end up going. Anyway, 
Um. What? I, I mean, oh. Hey guys, we're back with me and Taylor White. She's just <laughs> decorating her room, I know. Weird, eh? <laughs> never done that before. She never does that. Let's have a look at the fun we got. You happy? I feel like my mom standing yeah, here like, like this. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> something's not right. Hmm. You guys, oh, the lighting has just turned so bad. This is going to be a very raw section of the vlog. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I have no makeup on. I'm looking very rough. I've just been sitting here doing my lectures. I have not been well, hence why I haven't been vlogging um, for the past few days. I haven't been eating. I haven't been sleeping. It's been really, really yuck. I went to the doctor this morning and I'm on some medication. So hopefully I get better over the next week. But yeah, that's where I've been. And today is the first day that I was able to actually get out of bed and do some study. So I'm catching up on last week's lectures, actually. I've just been really thrown out, to be honest. So yeah, that's where I've been. That's why we're not looking amazing and a bit pale and a bit bleh. But that's not why I came here. I came here because I just got a very exciting email from YouTube saying that I have been accepted into the YouTube Partners program, which means that I am finally monetized on YouTube. This has happened so fast. One of my videos, um, which you've probably all seen, the move in vlog, has blown up. It's, it's blown up relative to the views that I normally get. That video has brought me so many new subscribers, welcome if that is you, and a lot of watch time hours. If you are a YouTuber, you would know that to be able to be monetized on YouTube, you have to reach certain requirements. So you need 1,000 subscribers, which we obviously hit the other day, and you also need 4,000 hours of watch time, which means that people have watched your content for 4,000 hours, which is so much. At the start, I was kind of like, oh, you know, maybe a few months and I'll hit that. Here I am 10 months later and it's taken one of my videos to blow up and to give me half of those required watch time hours. And I'm just gonna preface disclaim right here. I know everyone says this, but I genuinely mean it when I say that I did not start this channel for the money or to be monetized. I started this channel in October last year when I was living in Sydney and, and all I had going on at the time was uni and work and so I had so much time on my hands that's why and when I started this channel not with the pure goal to make money off it at all and I obviously have enjoyed the whole process along the way I've gotten so much out of it that hasn't been monetary which is the reason why I continued and I will still continue and would have still continued even if I never made money off of it I think the main thing for me at the moment is that I am in my second half of my second year at uni. I have a job, I have a job here at college, I have stuff going on at college as well and I'm also just trying to be a 19 year old and I think having that extra I guess monetary reward doesn't make it all that more worth it but it just kind of you guys, you guys know what I mean. But I am so grateful that I have made it here and it's obviously because of you guys who have clicked subscribe and because you have watched my videos. So thank you so, so much. I wanted to share the process of being monetized. Yesterday I looked at my analytics and I saw that I had finally reached the 1000 subscriber and 4000 watch hour requirement. And I was obviously so excited and I went onto the page and the first thing that they made me do was sign up for a Google AdSense account and so I had to do that and then I was waiting for that to be accepted so I started looking at some videos about people's processes getting monetized and I was watching Catherine Manning and she said that a really probably important thing to do is to have your Google AdSense account done and ready before you get monetized because it can take weeks to be kind of accepted and it just delays the whole process of being able to actually start making money. So you can set it up before you reach that 
target and she said do that because then by the time that you reach the requirements you've already ticked off step two and you can skip straight to step three so I was literally lying there last night and I was like, oh my god, I'm so silly. I should have done that earlier, but it's going to take weeks now for my AdSense to be approved, but I couldn't really do anything about it. So I was like, that's okay, we'll just let it happen. And then this morning I woke up and my AdSense had been approved. So it had been like less than 12 hours. So I was like, okay, sweet. The next bit is that YouTube has to um, approve your channel, so they just have to make sure that you follow all the guidelines or your videos are adhering to their guidelines, I guess. And on that little thing it says that this could take up to a month, so I was like, okay, so this is where it's going to take a while. Once again, nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to sit back and wait. Literally like seven hours later, I just got the email saying, you've been approved. <laughs> So maybe it's different for everyone, maybe I just got really lucky, but I have basically ticked off the whole process in about a day. So if anyone was curious, then there you go, that's how it worked for me. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, I'm going to get back to my lectures and I'm going to try and grind as much as I can for the rest of the afternoon. So I will see you tomorrow.